Newcastle disease is a highly contagious viral infection that affects many species of domestic and wild birds to varying degrees. Domestic fowl, turkeys, pigeons and parrots are most susceptible while a mild form of the disease affects ducks, geese, pheasants, quail and guinea fowl. The disease can result in digestive, respiratory and or nervous clinical signs, which range from a mild, almost an apparent respiratory disease to very severe depression, drop in egg production, increased respiration, profuse diarrhea followed by collapse, or long-term nervous signs, such as twisted necks, if the birds survive. Severe forms of the disease are highly fatal. Newcastle disease is caused by a paramyxovirus that can vary in pathogenicity from mild to highly pathogenic. Spread is usually by direct physical contact with infected or diseased birds. The virus is present in manure and is breathed out into the air. Other sources of infection are contaminated equipment, carcasses, water, food and clothing. People can easily carry the virus from one shed or farm to another. Newcastle disease virus does not affect humans in the same way that it does birds but it can cause conjunctivitis in humans. Transmission Direct contact with secretions of infected birds, principally via ingestion, fecal, oral route, and inhalation, vomits, feed, water, implements, premises, human clothing, boots, sacks, egg trays, crates, etc. Survival of agent is prolonged by presence of feces, as in soiled eggshells. Virus is shed during the incubation period, during clinical stages and for a limited period during convalescence. Fleas, rodent, insect and dog can also transmit NCD virus mechanical from infected feces. Clinical signs, signs of infection with NDV vary greatly depending on factors such as the strain of virus and the health agent species of the host, infectious with the highly virulent viruses, visogenic strain, 1, sudden death, 2, depression, prostration, diarrhea, edema of the head and nervous signs may occur with mortality reaching 100%, infection with moderately virulent viruses, misogenic strain, 1, severe respiratory disease followed by nervous signs, 2, labored breathing with wheezing and gurgling, paralysis, twisted neck, torticollis, 3, shell-less or soft-shelled eggs, complete cessation of egg-laying, infection with low virulent viruses, lentogenic strain, 1, may cause on disease, or mild respiratory distress for a short time, post term lesions, 1, patochial hemorrhage presence in proventriculas, 2, presence of plaque in intestine, 3, enlargement of spleen, treatment, there is no specific treatment for this disease. Expect vaccination but to control secondary bacterial infection use antibiotics with vaccination. 1. Supportive care, isolate the bird from the flock and place in a safe, comfortable and warm location, your own intensive care unit, with easy access to water and food. Call your veterinarian immediately. Two. Exetracillin powder, 1 gram per liter drinking water for 5 days. 3. 
Ciprosin vet solution 1 ml per liter with moxicil vet powder or arisen vet powder 1 gram per liter of drinking water for 3 to 5 consecutive days. 4. Homco pH, 1 ml per liter drinking water twice for 5 days. 5. Nephrocare liquid 1 ml per liter of drinking water twice for 5 days. 6. Sevitvit powder 1 gram per liter of drinking water for 3 to 5 days. Vaccination. Vaccinating your poultry against Newcastle disease is the best way to prevent your birds from getting the disease. If a bird is not vaccinated, they may contract Newcastle disease. If they contract this disease, then they cannot be treated or cured. How to vaccinate your birds against Newcastle disease? Comma for intranasal or intraocular vaccination. 1000 dose bottles only. These Newcastle disease vaccines accompanied by diluent are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens one day of age or older. 1. Rehydrate one vial of vaccine with one vial of diluent. 2. Remove sealant stopper from vaccine and diluent vials. Avoid contamination of stoppers and contents. 3. Add diluent to half fill the vaccine vial. Replace stopper and shake until contents are dissolved. 4. Pour the rehydrated vaccine into the diluent container. Replace stopper and shake. 5. Remove stopper and fit drop dispenser tip into diluent container. 6. To vaccinate intranasally, place finger over one of the bird's nostrils and place one drop of vaccine in the other nostril. Do not release bird until vaccine has been inhaled. 7. To vaccinate intraocularly, place one drop of vaccine in the eye. For drinking water vaccination, these Newcastle disease vaccines are recommended for the vaccination of healthy chickens two weeks of age or older. 1. Discontinue use of medications or sanitizing agents in the drinking water 24 hours before vaccinating. Do not resume use for 24 hours following vaccination. 2. Water used for the drinking water administration of a live virus vaccine must be non-chlorinated. 3. Provide enough waterers so two-thirds of the birds may drink at one time. Scrub waterers, with fresh, clean, non-chlorinated water, and use no disinfectant. Let the waterers drain dry. 4. Turn off automatic waterers, so the only available water is the vaccine water. Do not give vaccine water through medication tanks. 5. Withhold water for 2 hours before vaccinating. Do not deprive the birds of water if the temperature is extremely high. 6. Remove seal from vaccine vial. 7. Remove stopper and half fill vial with clean, cool, non chlorinated water. 8. Replace stopper and shake until dissolved. 9. Use a clean container two thirds filled with cool, clean, non chlorinated water. 10. Next, add volume of water, as follows. 1,000 doses to 5 gallons of cool, clean, non-chlorinated, water. 11. Give one dose of vaccine per bird. 12. Distribute the final volume of vaccine water evenly among the clean waterers. Do not place the waterers in direct sunlight. 
resume regular water administration only after all the vaccine water has been consumed. For spray vaccination, these Newcastle disease vaccines may be used for the revaccination of healthy chickens four weeks of age or older by spraying the vaccine solution above the chickens. A sprayer that delivers a coarse spray quickly and evenly is recommended. 1. Remove seal from a vial of vaccine. 2. Remove the stopper and half fill vial with cool, distilled water. 3. Replace stopper and shake until vaccine is in solution. 4. Pour rehydrated vaccine into a clean container and add cool, distilled water per 1000 doses 100 ml and shake thoroughly. 5. Place the vaccine solution in the sprayer canister, set the discharge control at low and walk through the house, spraying at the rate of 1000 birds per minute. Direct the spray above the heads of the birds. 6. Whatever volume of vaccine solution is used in the sprayer, take care to administer one dose per bird. 1000 doses equals 1000 birds. 7. This spray method of vaccination should be employed in poultry houses where air movement can be reduced to a minimum. Before spraying the vaccine solution, close the house and shut off mechanical ventilation. Maintain these conditions both during spraying and for 20 minutes afterwards. 8. Wear goggles and a face mask while spraying. 9. Any sprayer used for application of a live virus vaccine should be used for no other purpose. Prevention, vaccination at day of age in the hatchery using a coarse spray machine. In areas with VVND multiple live and a killed vaccine can be given to broilers. Pullets and often layers are given multiple live and killed NDV vaccines. B1 type B1 strain and Lassota strains are normally used. A recombinant NDV vaccine also is available for hatcheries by Innova or rescue injection. Vaccine every two months. To prevent spread of disease, control rodents and insects. Keep buildings clean and dispose of dead birds. Clean and disinfect the facilities in the following manner, remove all birds from the building. Clean out the old feed and remove all movable equipment.